Hello, my darlings. I hope you're doing very well. So as you can see, we are back at my perfume wardrobe today again. And that's because we are going to go through all these babies. I know you wanted it so badly. And the last video I was doing my gold and my blue aquatic bottles and I actually forgot to rate them so I'm really really sorry I completely forgot I was supposed to rate my perfumes <laughs> silly me silly me but today I'm gonna do it all right and I'm gonna rate them for you so I think today we can tackle the pink and purples um, because to be honest I just feel like it I just feel pink tonight and uh Right before we start, I'm just going to tell you a few things about the new bits and bobs that I have in the black uh, shelf. But if you haven't seen the full on black shelf video, I will link it up for you because you will have to see it before we get into this one. So if you haven't watched it, watch it first and then let's move on to pinks. But first, you got to do the blacks. All right. But um, when it comes to the black shelf, uh, most of uh, the perfumes I have already showed you, I have rated them, but I didn't tell you much about these ones because um, last time that I was doing the uh, rating and I was showing you everything, the red bottles were actually with the pink ones. So now it's switched a little bit. So here we have, first of all, um, Poison Girl by Dior. Oh, actually, wait, guys, now that I see my hand, I need to take a minute and show you something. So today I partner up with Julia Jewelry again and look at the piece that I just received. It literally came in the mail yesterday and I've been already wearing it to death. Um, this is actually a free piece set. So as you can see, it has three rings. So we have two eternity bands that cover and hug the main deal, which is that beautiful emerald ring. Uh, and you have the emerald cut um, diamonds all over. Uh, these are not real diamonds, but they really look amazing in real life and in the pictures. Very good quality. Of course, as usual, I hope you like it, by the way. This is my first emerald um, ring and I intend to get more because emerald is definitely my gem. I love it. Of course, it will be linked below for you guys as per usual and you can get a discount that's going to show up on the screen and it's going to be in the description box as well, along with my whole jewelry stash that I wear. Everything you might be interested in, everything you saw in the videos will be linked below along with this precious baby. I am in love, really. Of course, you can wear the emerald on its own. You can wear those eternity band on its own. You can even put a different ring um, between them. So it's really, really cool. I really love it. My nails are super short, but that's, you know, that's because of the moving and carrying stuff. I just have to have them super short. But yeah, I love it. Nevertheless, it looks so nice and it elevates the hand so much. This is how it looks from the side. There you go. So pretty. All right, now let's get back to the Poison Girl. So po Poison Girl is my OG. I love it so much. It is mainly a rose, almond and tonka fragrance. Very sweet, but very sexy. Quite Middle Eastern as well um, for Dior. Uh, so I really love it. To me, this one is 10 out of 10 because it has great longevity and nice moderate projection. Then we have Rouge Malahit. And I actually have an amazing dupe that I'm going to show you soon. I'm going to record a video very soon for you about many dupes that I discovered. But this one is so nice. Um, this is basically um, quite alienic, um, like Mugler Alien. Very similar, but it has a lot of tuberose and sage. So it's a little bit more herbally and spicy as well very nice one uh, then we have another poison and this one is the hypnotic poison and this is the eau de toilette really really like it so for this one is my ultimate winter cozy scent i give it eight out of ten and for rouge malahit i give also eight out of ten both fragrances are amazing and great on lasting power and then we have alien fusion 
I love Alien Fusion at the moment, even though I didn't appreciate it at first. As you can see, I really, really dug into this bottle. To me, this one, I would say is 7 out of 10 because I wish it was more spicy and more strong. It's actually quite a mellow everyday fragrance, but you know, it's, a, it's good actually sometimes you need that so yeah i really appreciate it now and then we have sun uh but this is sun parfum by jill zander and this is the most beautiful honey tropical fragrance ever uh the longevity is not the best because you know it's like a freshy but it's beautiful i give it good six out of ten all right, next, I actually put my Fragrance de Bois fragrances right here in the uh, wardrobe because they were getting dusty. I had them, actually, I had them right here uh, on top of that little vanity box, but they were getting so, so dusty. By the way, how do you like my desk? I just got it. Um, I had like a big white counter here before and I switched it up, so I really like it now. Tell me in the comments below. Uh, but yeah, they were getting really dusty. And for me, Old Rose Intense is absolute beautiful, fruity, sweet oud. I give it strong 9 out of 10. And Siberian Rose is my favorite. Creamy, a bit leathery, but not too much. Uh, rose and tuberose fragrance. Absolutely beautiful. It's a little bit tropical as well. I give it 10 out of 10. Amazing fragrance. And then we have the Kurjan that I showed you in the last video and two new fragrances from Juliana, but they are waiting for a specific video to be made on them. So stay tuned for that. I know many of you are interested, so I keep it for the separate video. I'm not going to talk about them now. Okay, so now we can officially move on to my pinkies. So um, let's start with this one. So my first pinky here is of course the Lina the original to me this is a 10 out of 10 fragrance love it you all guys know about this one so i'm not even gonna talk to you about it too much by the way this is not like dead skin or anything this is actually white paint because <laughs> i was painting furniture and for some reason i cannot take it off from here so don't mind me sorry um I am very much a DIY girl, you know, I'm, I might have to do some DIY um, on my channel. I'm okay, next one right by it, we have Delina Exclusive. And this one is basically sweeter, more powdery, more vanilla, uh, more creamy to me, 10 out of 10. Beautiful fragrances, 100% worth the money, I'm telling you. Out of all the uh, weird and exotic fragrances that are niche that i have these ones are so good okay then we have cassili to me another 10 out of 10 i love it so much this one is more of a tropical fruity fragrance so the lena is like a very girly you know like mary antoinette think of her and this is her scent really cassili is more like esmeralda scent <laughs> so still another 10 out of 10 i love them all i love them all free Okay, here in the back we have um, La Vie Belle Soleil Cristal, and this is a beautiful iris coconut fragrance. It's still sweet, it still has some resemblance of the original, but to me, I prefer this one more. Uh, to me, this one is a good 8 out of 10 fragrance, great longevity and sillage. Here right beside it we have Yunon Rose or Junon Rose by Al Haramein, and this is basically a 100% dupe of... Amouage Blossom Love. This is so similar, guys. The only difference that I get between them is that this one, the Al Haramein version, uh, leaves a pink residue on your skin. The liquid in the bottle is very pink, so be careful with that. But if you love Blossom Love and you don't want to spend too much money, this is great. Okay, then we have a Gooey Mauve by Reminiscence. And to be completely honest, I do not use this scent that much on me. It's quite vintage. Another Marie Antoinette kind of fragrance, but make it very much vintage. Uh, it's powdery, quite herbally. Yes, you get that nice marshmallow, but not in a straight up sense of it, if you know what I mean. So this one is quite difficult to pull off, I must say, at least for me. 
Okay, here, of course, we have the Blossom Love. 10 out of 10 fragrance for me. I was hesitating on getting it because it has very much mixed reviews, but I'm so happy I have it. 10 out of 10, great one. This is like, on me, it's like amaretto with rose and cherry blossom. That's what I get. No leather, no nothing. Then we have Ariana. My bottle is already a bit battered. And another Ariana, we have Ari. And we have Sweet Like Candy. I give them all... Now, comparing to all my fragrances right here, comparing them, I would give them a nice 5 out of 10. They're very pretty, not too complicated, but very pretty nevertheless. Unfortunately, the longevity is not very much beast mode, so that's why I would have to lower the note. So they, they get a nice 5 out of 10. Great room sprays. <laughs> Just saying. Great room sprays, guys. Okay, what do we have next? Another Ariana Grande duo. And here we have R.E.M. And we have... Thank you, next. This one is Coconut Rose Fragrance. A little bit cucumber, like gorkin scent in the beginning. But then it goes off. And here we have my fave, which is R.E.M. Beautiful lavender gourmand boyfriend t-shirt kind of fragrance. Very nice one. These two I give... 7 out of 10, just because the note structure is way more, um, I don't want to say sophisticated, but way more interesting. The longevity on this one is great. On this one, it's not that bad, but the uh, projection is not good. So yeah, five out, no, 7 out of 10. 7 out of 10 for both of these. Then we have this one, and this is Sofia Vergara, uh, Sofia. And this is really good. I really like it. It's like, think of La Vie Belle and Chanel Coco Mademoiselle, but make it plummy. There's a lot of plum in here, so I really like it. Uh, 7 out of 10 for me. But the longevity is really good, I must say. Barbary Her. I love this fragrance. This is so nice. Uh, it's like fruity, flirty, very long-lasting, a little bit earthy. Very, very nice fragrance. To me, it's a good, good 8 out of 10. I'm not the fan of the intense version. I give it to my mom. Uh, but the original EDP is fantastic. So that is my take on it. Then we have Dolce Garden by Dolce & Gabbana. To me, this is <laughs> another good 9 out of 10. Uh, one of my favorite coconuts is Coconut from Japan mainly. Uh, you know, like tropical flowers and dense coconut. Beautiful fragrance. Yeah, 9, 8 out of 10. Something like that I would give it. Here we have Guerlain, Mon Guerlain Intense. And this is beautiful. The only thing is that I think it will shine in colder months because it has quite a bit of licorice and coumarin. Uh, it's definitely amped up from the original. So I give it 8 out of 10. Mm. Okay, maybe actually 7 out of 10, to be completely honest, guys. Because I think it needs a special occasion to be worn. To me, it's more of a formal fragrance. I love it, don't get me wrong. But uh, it's not a fragrance for me that I just grab and go. You know what I mean? So yeah, 7 out of 10 for this one. If it didn't have licorice, or at least not that much, it would be more an everyday fragrance. But yeah, it's not. So that's 7 out of 10. And then we have La Belle. This is a 10 out of 10 for me. This is vanilla, pear, vetiver. It's absolutely amazing, quite earthy. It has that nice zinc to it, but it's very sweet and flirty. My boyfriend loves it. It's a good signature scent. Love this one, 10 out of 10 for me. Then we have Scandal by Jean-Paul Gaultier. And this one is a honey bomb. It's mainly honey, really. Uh, honestly, I actually prefer Scandal by Night because it's more complex. It has tubers, it has cherry, it has all these nice gourmand notes with some crazy florals. But mainly these are both honey fragrances, but this one is like straight up honey fragrance and some, you know, orange or something. I don't even know. Patchouli. This one to me is 8 out of 10. Great longevity and sillage. Great party fragrance. Montal Intense Cafe, 10 out of 10 for me. Love this one. I think it's my favorite Montal, really. Uh, I'm thinking of getting Ristretto. 
the ristretto version of it but um, they're very similar so I'm not sure if I need both but I might get it and review it for you who knows 10 out of 10 though this one uh, now we can move on to all my um, diamonds from Lancôme and this is La Nuit Trésor Nude I have a full-on comparison between La Nuit Trésor Nude and La Vie Val Soleil Cristal right here so if you want to check it out I will leave a link up there on the screen as usual uh, this one I really grown to love this is more green on me actually for some reason it's a beautiful vanilla coconut with against some rose but not really like this one they're quite different so it's actually worth having both if you like them uh, to me this one is a strong 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 seven and a half out of ten because the lasting power is not exquisite on me then we have La Nuit Trésor, the original, and I recently purchased it, finally, after many years, and I love it. I must say, I love it. Uh, the projection is insane. It really is. This is a beast of a perfume. So I give it 10 out of 10. Along with La Nuit Trésor à la Folie, this one, to me, is more sweet, is more vanilla. It's also a little bit more woody, whereas this one... The original is more like incense but they're both absolutely amazing. Another 10 out of 10 for me. Grey lasting power on Ala Folie as well, but not as beast as the original, I must admit. But they're both amazing. So you are great with both of them or just one. It doesn't matter, but you have to have at least one of them. Trust me. I, I was so late to the party, but I love them both now. Okay. Of course, we have Alien. I love this baby. This is my jam for years. 10 out of 10 for me. However, no, stop, stop, scratch that. This is the reformulated version. And it's not a 10 out of 10 for me anymore because it got quite soapy. So I think I will give it 8 out of 10. I still love it, but, you know, it's not what it was. Then we have Angel... Nova, but I of course I have to leave my nasty fingerprints on it. Okay, it's better now. Anyways, this is a nice rose, very juicy and lychee and raspberry, and then you have Akigala wood in the dry down. Very, very nice one. I like it. It's fun, it's flirty, it's party. To me, it's a strong 8 out of 10. Love this one. I got it in Dubai, so it gives me nice memories. Okay, then we have Intense Roses Mask by Montal. Fantastic. Way better than the original. If you are debating, get this one. It's so much more long-lasting and the projection is even more beast mode. Love it. 10 out of 10 for me. Have you noticed that I have a lot of fragrances that are strongly rose-based? Like, all here, dum da dum all these are rose. Yeah, I apparently really like rose. And here we have another rose, which is... Dun, dun, dun. Jo Malone, a rose and white musk absolute. This is my favorite rose. If I'm being honest and frank, this is my favorite rose so far. It's absolutely divine. It's so strong, so beautiful, so Middle Eastern. I feel like Princess Jasmine wearing it. So... 10 out of 10 for me. And then we have Kayali Sweet Diamond Pink Pepper. Uh, I'm sure it is a bestseller by now. This is a spicy rose. Uh, very nice fragrance, I must say. But um, I don't know. I know it's the intense version of the perfume concentration. But I don't really get that strength so much. But I really like it though. But I give it 7 out of 10. Then we have Mugla, what is this? Angel, Muse, or the Toilette. Oh my God, it was hard. I have like a slow-mo in my brain. Sorry. Um, this one is a fruity, gourmand, chocolatey fragrance. You mainly get passion fruit in here. It's very nice. Very nice projection and longevity. I give it a good 8 out of 10. Actually, you can see me here. Hello. 
<laughs> okay, so 8 out of 10 for Mugla. And then we have a massive oldie. This is such a sentimental baby for me. This is Escada Magnetism. And if you haven't had it in your life, what were you doing? You have to get it. This is like my young, young teenage years. And even before that, I would always receive it um, from my father's trips like business trips, he, he would always uh, get me that at the airports. I really like it. It's fruity, but vanilla, very sensual, sweet, but very like seductive. It's not like, ooh, girly, flirty, sweet, like let's say Ariana. No, it's like mm, sexy, sweet. I love this one. And this one for me is a good eight out of 10. Then we have Love by Sophia. And this is more of a coffee fragrance. It's actually quite strong on coffee. It's quite dark, quite sexy. Um, I do like it, but it's not like my favorite. I think if I were to choose this one or the original, I think I would choose the original. But this one is a very nice flanker. If you don't have it already, check it out. But to me, I think I would say it's a good 6 out of 10. It's a nice projection, nice longevity. But, you know, for some reason, I don't really reach for it. So that's that. And I think this is the last one from this shelf. And that is La Belle Le Parfum. And I think I've spoken about it in my last video, which was the black bottles. So I don't want to repeat myself. If I did throughout this video, I'm very sorry, guys. I just didn't remember what was on the other shelf before. Uh, but yeah, I think, yeah, I think I switched up that much that La Belle was um, on the black shelf. But yeah, this one, another 10 out of 10 for me. Nothing to say more. I love this one. Okay, guys, again, Check out my black bottle video if you haven't already. I'm sure it is quite interesting. And this is my last look. I got a little bit messy here, but basically you have a last look on the pinky shelf. At the moment, it's my favorite. Uh, I told you guys in the last video that it was my least favorite because I didn't like the color combination. But at the moment, it's my favorite shelf. I love this one. So that's that for today. And tomorrow, I think we will tackle this one. And this is going to be hard. First of all, it's quite high up. I can barely reach it. Second of all, it's so much here. It's packed to the fullest and it's going to be hard. But I can do it for you guys because I love you. So that's that, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Tell me if you could only choose one fragrance from the pinky shelf. Which one would it be? I would love to know. That's my little game for you. Tell me in the comments what would be the one that you would choose. And again, thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye.